China has just unveiled something straight out of the future. The J-36, a sleek, tailless sixth-generation aircraft seen flying alongside the J-20 stealth jet for the very first time. This incredible formation over Chengdu shows how two generations of advanced jets can now share data, think together, and move as one intelligent system, marking a giant leap forward in next-generation aviation technology. When the October 31, 2025, footage appeared online, analysts instantly realized they were seeing something historic. The video, filmed near Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's facilities, showed a sleek, futuristic aircraft labeled 36, flying alongside a J-20S, the twin-seat variant of China's current fifth-generation stealth jet. Unlike earlier sightings or concept images, this was the first clear, multi-angle look at the aircraft in powered flight and formation, not in isolation or during a taxi test. Observers noticed the size difference right away. The J-36 appeared longer, wider, and bulkier than the J-20, with a noticeably deeper fuselage and broader wings. Its frame looked purpose-built to carry far more than just fuel. It could accommodate large internal bays for sensors, precision payloads, or long-range mission modules. The body lines flowed into wide-cord wings, with no visible tail surfaces, a design choice used to reduce radar reflections from all angles. Air intakes sat high on the fuselage, hinting at internal ducting optimized for stealth and stability during high-altitude cruising. This design language matches what aerospace engineers have long predicted for sixth-generation aircraft, vehicles built for range, versatility, and command roles rather than short-range interception. Earlier photos from December 2024 and spring 2025 showed a similar tailless prototype with a diamond-shaped platform and what many believed were three-engine exhausts. That triple-engine arrangement, if confirmed, would give the aircraft immense thrust, allowing it to operate at sustained supersonic speeds even while carrying heavy equipment or additional sensors. But the most striking part wasn't just how it looked, it was what it represented. By flying the J-36 publicly, China signaled confidence that the aircraft had matured beyond a mere concept demonstrator. The moment the J-36 joined formation with the twin-seat J-20S, it became clear this wasn't an ordinary test. The J-20S variant, first confirmed in 2024, adds a dedicated systems officer in the rear seat. That extra crew member's task isn't just navigation. It's managing sensors, communications, and data fusion. In the recent footage, experts noticed how the J-36 maintained a stable offset formation from the J-20S, consistent with cooperative flight testing. This pairing reveals a lot about how China envisions future aerial systems. Instead of focusing solely on speed or maneuverability, the emphasis now is on integration, how aircraft communicate, share information, and divide responsibilities across multiple platforms. The J-36, with its larger body and presumed onboard computing power, could function as a flying command center, processing and distributing situational data across the network. The J-20S, meanwhile, acts as the bridge between this next-generation prototype and current operational units, allowing pilots to test communication links, flight safety systems, and sensor sharing in real time. In simpler terms, imagine two high-performance machines, one optimized for power, the other for precision, learning to cooperate like paired neurons in a single digital brain. The J-36's sensors could detect distant targets or environmental conditions far beyond the J-20's range. That data, sent instantly through secure connections, would appear on the J-20S crew's display, allowing them to refine mission parameters or relay updates to additional aircraft. It's the beginning of networked aviation, where information moves faster than any jet ever could. The strategy mirrors a global shift. The United States is developing its own next-generation air dominance NGD, project designed to work alongside existing F-35S and F-22S. Instead of replacing older jets outright, the new model becomes a coordinator, an orchestrator that amplifies the strength of the entire fleet. China's approach with the J-36 seems remarkably similar. Using a mature fifth-generation jet to mentor and evaluate a sixth-generation prototype, 
This cooperative testing also serves a practical purpose, safety. Running paired flights lets engineers validate communications, gather telemetry, and refine aerodynamics without risking two untested aircraft simultaneously. What makes this development truly fascinating isn't just the engineering, it's the message behind it. The decision to allow this footage to circulate openly marks a shift in how China communicates technological progress. In past years, similar prototypes remained secret for months or even years. This time, there was no visible attempt to hide it. The reason? Confidence. By showing the J-36 flying alongside an operational fighter, China demonstrated continuity from the fifth to the sixth generation of aviation technology. It's a visual statement that progress isn't stopping at incremental updates, but advancing toward an interconnected future. The message to international observers is clear. The Chinese aerospace industry has entered a phase where experimental jets are not isolated curiosities. They're being woven directly into operational frameworks. For domestic audiences, the reveal reinforces industrial pride. Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, which produces the J-20, now stands as the core of China's advanced aircraft manufacturing ecosystem. The J-36's public flight showcases that its research has matured into a tangible product capable of integration and collaborative testing. This momentum also benefits the wider industrial base, including suppliers developing high-thrust engines, stealth coatings, and advanced computing systems. There's also a global dimension. The demonstration acts as a benchmark for other nations pursuing similar goals. Japan and South Korea are developing their own advanced fighters, while Europe and the United States continue refining sixth-generation designs. Seeing the J-36 in flight accelerates competitive innovation worldwide, pushing everyone towards smarter, more efficient aerial systems. Another key takeaway is the role of ambiguity. Analysts still can't agree on the J-36's primary purpose. Is it a long-range sensor platform, a heavy stealth strike aircraft, or a command and control hub for crewed and uncrewed systems? That uncertainty itself creates flexibility. By keeping multiple possibilities open, China can adapt the design to several mission types as technologies evolve. It also complicates predictive analysis by other research institutions, ensuring that attention must be spread across multiple interpretations. Technologically, the J-36's design reflects priorities aligned with future-proofing, wide wings for fuel capacity, internal bays for configurable payloads, and a strong digital backbone for artificial intelligence integration. The sight of the J-36 and J-20 flying together was more than a technical display. It was a preview of tomorrow's aerospace paradigm. China's engineers are testing how large, stealthy platforms can share intelligence, coordinate autonomously, and reshape air operations. This event confirms that sixth-generation flight isn't just a theory anymore, it's entering reality. The coming years will reveal how far these concepts can go, but one thing is certain. The boundaries between human and machine, platform and network, are beginning to blur. The next era of flight won't be about individual jets, it will be about connected ecosystems mastering the sky together. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.